Let's write the structural formula for 2,2-dimethylpropane. So the first thing we notice with this 2,2-dimethylpropane, it ends in A-N-E. That A-N-E, that tells us we have an alkane. For an alkane, it's going to be all carbon and hydrogen atoms and all single bonds. Prope, prop means three. Right here is the prefix prop. That tells us we have three carbons. They're all going to be single bonded surrounded by hydrogens. So let's put three carbons in a row and number them one through three. So at this point, we have three carbons. They're bonded together and then it's surrounded by carbons. All single bonds, that's propane. But this is 2,2-dimethylpropane we're trying to write the structure for. So di, that means two. We're going to have two methyl groups on the propane and they'll be on the second carbon, both of them, 2,2-dimethylpropane. Methyl groups, they look like this. So the methyl group right here, that's just going to be CH3. This will be attached to one of the carbons. In fact, it'll be attached to the second carbon. So here's our methyl group. So let's replace this hydrogen with the methyl group. So right now you could call this 2,2-methylpropane, but we need to put another carbon, another methyl group, on this second carbon here. Let's do that. So now we have our propane, that's the three, and on the second carbon we have these two methyl groups, one here, and one here. That makes this the structural formula for 2,2-dimethylpropane. We wanted to write the molecular formula. We count the carbons up and the hydrogens. We get C5H12. This is also known as neopentane. That's another name that you'll hear quite often, although this is the IUPAC name. It's Dr. B with the structure for 2,2-dimethylpropane, also called neopentane. Thanks for watching.